public transport operators demanding a price hike is nothing new. While the recent calls have gone unheeded, steep rises in fuel prices and general inflation suggest this cannot be held off indefinitely. This week, the Namibia Bus and Taxi Association, NAPTA, sent out an urgent release drawing attention to the difficult situation facing the transport sector. Joining us on the line is NAPTA's Secretary General, Pendapala Nakathingo. Good afternoon, SG. Good afternoon, ma'am. Briefly speak to us on how the fuel prices have affected the profitability of the taxi sector. Uh, well, thank you very much, NBC. And um, this uh, fuel price increase has negatively affected the bus and taxi operators severely in the whole country. And, uh, you know, their survival, they are only depend on the public transportation, uh, on the transportation of, of, the, of, the, of the passengers. So, therefore, it has really negatively affected them. Now, fuel prices have seen tremendous increment, which in understanding is the benchmark for the price hike. However, the cost of living for most commuters has equally quadrupled. Will Namibian commuters realistically be able to afford a $19 taxi fare? Uh, well, um, I don't want to say they can afford $19 taxi fare because that uh, taxi fare is not increased to $19. Mm -hmm. Up to now, the taxi fare is not yet increased. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, this is the information we have conveyed recently to the public that they should not panic about that uh, announcement that the taxi has increased by 19% and $19 or 40%. It is not yet so. So therefore, we have communicated to uh, make our submission to our line ministry to consider the increment. So although the increment that we have requested, it is reasonable with the reason that uh, we know once we, uh, uh, we increase with, with uh, 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 um, uh, a lot of percentage or um, to, so to say with even like suggested 40%, Mm -hmm. Or we can increase with 50%, but that does not solve the, 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 the problem. It will only cause serious consequences towards the, 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 the passengers, and it will also just um, a, a cause a, a lot of conflict uh, uh, between the passengers and the, and the, and the operators. So the, the, the price is still $13, so, uh, 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 as per the last increment in November last year. Mm -hmm. So therefore, at this particular moment, um, we, we have requested our line ministry, and we come up with uh, some certain solutions that we have uh, suggested to our line ministry to see how best we can mitigate the situation. Briefly, perhaps, maybe give us what are these mitigations that you have um, given the line ministry and percentage, perhaps, on the price increase? Well, uh, you know, as NAPTA, uh, uh, you know, a responsible association when it comes to the public transport operation in Namibia, uh, you know, we have observed this situation closely and for a long time. And therefore, this is a high time for us now to come up with a tangible solution, but not, cannot be done only by NAPTA alone. Mm -hmm. uh, we have therefore come up with, a, with, a, with, a, with an idea or a request to have a joint operation and cooperation uh, spearheaded by our line ministry of works and transport, uh, NAMPOL, Minister of Urban and Rural Development, Minister of Justice, Minister of Youth, and other, uh, you know, uh, role players or key stakeholders such as uh, uh, RFA, Road Authority, uh, you know, MVA Fund, National Road Safety Council, and our medias, including the telecommunications or MTC. Mm -hmm. The reason being that uh, the situation in the public transport has been worsened by the illegal transportation of passengers for reward, whereby, that's why I'm saying, even if we can increase with 50%, or with 100%, that doesn't solve the so or, or bring the solution. It will just worsen the situation. Mm -hmm. Therefore, at this particular moment, we also come up with a, an alternative solution uh, to, to, to see how best we can, you know, um, uh, protect the, the, the passengers, how, pen, how, how best we can protect the business interests of the bus and taxi operators, and, and how can also we protect the government in terms of the economy. Mm -hmm. Because our economy, or the, the economy at, at this current moment, not only in Namibia, but in the whole world, the economy knows, is not just performing well. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we come up with this um, initiative to say 
let us have a joint cooperation and operation in order for us to, to you know, uh, 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 deal with the illegal transportation in the country. Once we have dealt with the illegal transportation, then uh, in terms of uh, business operation or business, uh, you know, survival for buses and taxis, it will be sufficient because the current problem is the, is the, is the illegal transportation or which are now conveying passengers for reward illegally. And the, the permit holders are no longer making business. Mm -hmm. This is the reason why we have come up with such. And, uh, you know, the request, the percentage that we have requested is just 15%, which is going to translate to $15, you know, per taxi uh, across the country. Mm -hmm. And we have now um, also come up with um, some certain suggestions according uh, uh, to, you know, all the key stakeholders and their role that they can play. Mm -hmm. So... Um, we have also another uh, serious issue that faced our long-distance bus operators, which is now the, 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 the logbook. Which, uh, it is called mass distance charges. You know, the bus operators, they've been suffering since the lockdown was introduced, since 2020, 2021. You know, when the, the lockdown was in, introduced and the buses have to carry the passengers to the half of capacity, that, is a, that have got a very serious consequences and negative impact when it comes to the bus and uh, bus uh, uh, you know uh, business interest mm -hmm. because they have to travel long kilometers but what they receive they just receive half of what they carry uh, which they never even make any profit they have been operating on the loss for two for the for the past two years and the, the, when they when it comes to the to the charges the road fund administration is charging per kilometer and they charging, if you travel, uh, for instance, those who are traveling from Otapi to Oranyemund, they have to travel 1,800 kilometers. So if you are traveling from uh, the north, uh, from Oshakati to Vintuk, you travel 710 kilometers. But uh, in terms of the logbook or NTC charges, you, you have to pay a, a full kilometers, but you have only carried half of the passengers. Mm -hmm. Which now, is, has been a thorn in the flesh now, SG, of, the, what of is, the bus operators. SG, what is the way forward in terms of NAPTA's discussion with the industry and authorities, and maybe just briefly? We have suggested that, in terms of what I just explained now, mm -hmm. we have suggested that Rotterdam administration to even temporarily suspend the MDC charges so that it can relieve the bus operators because they've been operating on the loss. Otherwise, if they cannot entirely suspend temporarily these uh, MDC charges, they can even, you know, uh, reduce it to half. Uh, if they traveled uh, uh, um, 1,000 kilometers, then the, the, the operators can only pay for 500 kilometers because that is uh, what they have been doing, okay. uh, uh, you know, when they carry passengers in the half of capacity. Okay, thank you very much, SG. That was Penta Nakathingo. And we continue.